we are asked to simplify the given trig expression. There are no obvious substitutions, and therefore to simplify, we will need to add these two fractions. And we know to add fractions, we must first obtain a common denominator. Notice here the least common denominator is going to be the product of the two binomials, which means we will need to multiply the numerator and denominator of the first fraction by secant x minus tangent x. We will need to multiply the numerator and denominator of the second fraction by secant x plus tangent x. Let's go ahead and set this up. Again, we multiply the numerator and denominator of the first fraction by secant x minus tangent x. And we multiply the numerator and denominator of the second fraction by secant x plus tangent x. Notice now we do have a common denominator and the order of the factors don't matter. Let's go ahead and write the denominator as the quantity secant x plus tangent x times the quantity secant x minus tangent x. And now the numerator is going to be two times the quantity secant x minus tangent x and then plus two times the quantity secant x plus tangent x. And now let's clear the parentheses from the numerator and denominator. In the numerator, we distribute two here as well as here. This gives us two secant x minus two tangent x plus two secant x plus two tangent x. In the denominator we will have four products. We first distribute secant x and then distribute tangent x. Secant x times secant x is secant squared x. And then we have secant x times negative tangent x which gives us negative secant x tangent x, or minus secant x tangent x. And then we have tangent x times secant x, which gives us plus secant x tangent x. And then finally we have tangent x times negative tangent x, which gives us negative tangent squared x, or minus tangent squared x. And now let's go ahead and simplify. In the numerator we have negative two tangent x plus two tangent x, which is zero. And then two secant x plus two secant x is four secant x. In the denominator, negative secant x tangent x plus secant x tangent x is equal to zero. We're left with secant squared x minus tangent squared x. And now we can perform a substitution in the denominator. Since tangent squared theta plus one equals secant squared theta, notice how if we subtract tan squared theta on both sides, we would have one equals secant squared theta minus tangent squared theta, and therefore we can substitute one for secant squared x minus tangent squared x. And four secant x divided by one, of course, is just four secant x. The given expression simplifies to four secant x. I hope you found this helpful.